Hello, everybody. Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so let's talk about a few things regarding what I just put out uh, regarding technical analysis trading with TA Lib and Python. Now, I've put together a 20 minute video on the logic and where I'm at with everything. So now I wanted to bring all of this up to date with the Python scripting using Redis and how I intend to move ahead with cryptocurrency once we get past this. So if you uh, go to my YouTube channel, um, I do know as a fact that, um, that, so if I go to my YouTube channel at Quant Labs, uh, let me just get rid of this guy here. Okay. Hey there, how's so, your trading going? Under here, uh, one of the things that you may or may not know is I put up a video on Gecko, the crypto trading bot, uh, a couple of months ago, and it's just going bonkers. Well, my world it is at least. Two videos um, regarding one on experimenting with the Gecko JavaScript open source cryptocurrency trading bot. Well, we've got 12,000 views there. Um, which bit? Coin cryptocurrency bot project gecko versus CCXT Tribeca versus Blackbird, and then we also have here um, another video I put out regarding gecko um, and my thoughts. So, drilling it all down to gecko, uh, I think there's a lot of hate on in that video. Just do the fact that let me just pull up the comments here. You see, there's more dislikes than likes that's just due to the fact of my opinion of javascript the um language i think if you were to move ahead with cryptocurrency uh trading bots in of these type of trading languages php or javascript you're really limiting yourself and i'm gonna explain why and what i plan to do about it so in here in this list you'll find ccxt this one also, I talk about CCXT. So these are the title videos I'm referring to. The first one, for those that are on the audio podcast, is a video called Experimenting with Gecko, JavaScript Open Source Cryptocurrency Trading Bot. That's the 12,000 view one as of this point here on Saturday, February 10th. The other video I'm referring to is called Which Bitcoin Cryptocurrency Bot Project? Uh, Gecko versus CCXT, Tribeca versus Blackbird. So if I pull up that video, uh, what you'll find here is a comment regarding... When it comes to choosing the right oh, webinar... Shut up. Okay, regarding how the CCXT is not a trading bot. It is more of a framework, but um, the uh, CCXT is very important. Uh, due to the fact that you can use CCXT as a framework to build trading robots. So, as I said before, when you're stuck with JavaScript, this is what you're going to be missing out on um, the world of Python. This is a very powerful backtesting and trading uh, Python package that you can fully experiment with all your trading ideas. This is very powerful, includes charting, a full-on backtesting framework, and then you can merge it and bang out some pretty heavy-duty uh, uh, crypto, sorry, uh, cryptocurrency trading ideas. So let me just show you what I mean. So if you look for uh, GitHub CCXT, I think a lot of people that are more advanced programmers will agree that this probably is a very powerful, one of the more advanced um, projects out there for cryptocurrency. Namely in Python, they do support uh, PHP, JavaScript, Python. Obviously, I do believe that Python is the, the more popular one, just due to uh, some of the easier to work with uh, frameworks and packages out there, including this Backtrader, which is very powerful. Um, so, the other thing I like about this uh, project here in more detail is it includes 90 Bitcoin altcoin exchanges. Uh, so that's one big feature. Um, if you go to my uh, YouTube 
channel um, and look for a video called What Do I Think of Cryptocurrency Bot Software DIY with Gecko Open Source? Uh, this one, uh, no. Uh, is that the right one? Uh, there is a video in here that I prefer over, uh, yeah, sorry, this one right here. A, this one goes into more detail of CCXT. So look for a video called Impressive Python Package for Integrating Over Bitcoin Cryptocurrency Exchanges. Okay, so it's a 15-minute video explaining and walking you through all the different examples of CCXT. So let's get up to date with where Bitcoin's at. Uh, Bitcoin has fallen quite a bit. When you go to coinmarketcap.com, uh, you'll see here the change over 24 hours is 2%, 2 11%, uh, so on and so forth. These volatile changes over a 24-hour period are big, obviously. Um, one of the big reasons people like Forex is because it is uh, similar to cryptocurrency, but cryptocurrency is now becoming more not just picking which uh, a coin will go up in value. It's kind of like similar to penny stocks. And it's these volatile swings that can make you quite a bit of money if you know what you're looking for. And as I said, I've, I've introduced um, the past video on the TA Lib with the technical analysis. So you have a suite of indicators that you can use, open source, uh, against all of these different cryptocurrencies on top of if you look at the trading volume by oops by not just the, the actual currency but specifically the um, exchange you will notice here that um, all these exchanges go up and down like a toilet seat just due to the noise the news which exchange is valid which is which is um, uh, which is valid, which is legit, which is safe to use. Uh, I'm not going to get into that, but they're here. Uh, so when you go back to CCXT and you look for the exchanges that are supported, uh, a new one I just found here called Upbit. I haven't looked at this for a while. Hopefully is Upbit. No, Upbit is not uh, supported, but... Uh, you can see here I'm at Coin Market Cap, so Coin Market Cap itself is supported right here, which you can use to gauge volume and just go pretty crazy with trading ideas uh, with cryptocurrency to figure out which ones are going to go up and down and so on and so forth. And it's one wrapper to all of these exchanges through this project called CCXT, and. Uh, a lot of them are just driven by news, which one's legit, which one's not. And uh, as I said, uh, this coin market cap can help you out, not just on the exchange front, but also based on the currency itself. When you get exchange volume of uh, the, uh, let me just see here. Uh, not volume, we are looking for trending gainers and losers. You can see here that, again, you're going to get crazy returns on all of these coins. Here's one called Women Coin. Um, anyways, you get on the right side of these, um, like here on the Ripple, like a major currency, uh, you can do quite well. And uh, using the, the uh, principles of, if you want, uh, penny stock trading, be it uh, or traditional cr cryptocurrency trading with technical analysis, you now have a complete uh, set of advantages using in Python, again using Backtrader as well as uh, the CCXT on top of other cool projects that you can use with full automation. Now, um, that's the big um, benefit of using uh, Python with uh, CCXT and Backtrader if you know what you're looking for. Um, 
Um, so that's my next step. And the other big advantage of it is, of course, here, I've talked about it in the past uh, video, is how updated this project is. It's, it's, it's like eight minutes ago, 24 minutes ago. This is a very regularly updated project because this world of cryptocurrency changes every every minute with something new. And it's really important to have one wrapper to the that will interface to all these exchanges as opposed to pulling your hair out trying to keep up with the updates because this 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 exchange or this project does a lot so again um, there are three different languages python appears to be uh, probably the most popular that's what i'm going to assume but when you take a look at the examples um, again i've talked about it in uh, that video here uh, this one impressive python package for integrating over 90 crypto currency exchanges. So that video walks you through all these different examples, but to highlight it, uh, if you look at Python, you get a variety of things. You can get ticker information. Uh, you can get your balance on specific exchanges. Uh, you have other automation that would include order book, um, I think I've seen ones where it shows you how to withdraw out of your account autom in an automated way. Um, this is quite a bit of a uh, set of examples here that will really help you out in uh, using the this 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 package. Uh, here you can get your balances on your accounts. Um, a lot of really cool stuff. So I'm just highlighting that. Uh, so that's definitely better to go with than uh, these projects that I mentioned here, including Gecko. Uh, CCXT is definitely the one will trump all the rest here of Gecko, Tribeca, Blackbird. My overall idea of using black box um, projects for trading bots is not the way to go. You definitely want to use um, a open source project, namely, like I said, Backtrader uh, for your backtesting as well as your uh, uh, CCXT project as well. It's quite important um, to, to, to really get a handle on that because if you're using black box technologies, um, especially the bot side, you're just going to get wiped out and you won't know why because you don't know the underlying reasons of the of the um, of, of the software that you choose. Um, one of the big lessons I learned from over the last few months is being able to generate your own logs and with the indicators that you choose and be able to analyze minute by minute or even tick by tick on what those, how those indicators are performing. Uh, and it gives you exact reasons why they may work or may not work. Um, it shows you how probably how volatile and truly random a lot of these um, Instruments can be, which can obviously can be a big challenge, but if you can figure out the right type of strategy, um, without a doubt, you can do very well. And again, I'm only just hinting at because of the uh, volatility of the swing percents that you get if you're on that right side of those calls. So do consider this uh, using something like CCXT with Python and backtesting. If you don't know the projects or the language, I'd probably encourage you to go that route versus using JavaScript or PHP, which will fairly limit you. And yes, you can upload um, your Python onto a remote web server as well and host it remotely if you want it as well. No different than if you want it with JavaScript or PHP, but you get a lot more advantages with it a lot more cooler projects to work with and packages like, as I said, this Backtrader, which is quite good. If you want more information on my experience with Backtrader, I'd probably recommend you to do a search on it. Let's go over to my hey there. How's your website trading? and look for Backtrader. You should be able to find a bunch of videos on it. So here we go. Um, so hopefully... This will help you out, and let me know what you think. Hopefully, this will be a little more positive experience uh, outcome for people. Other than that, I'll talk to you later. Bye.